Dear colleagues, this is another second anesthesia. Uh, cataract removal uh, on a neovascular glaucoma patient. Unfortunately for the this patient, uh, there was no more um, light perception in this eye. So I didn't implant uh, an IOL at the end of the surgery. But because of the IOP having um, high IOP in um, in the upper 50s, I decided to take out the, the lens, the, the cataract, in order to decompress the anterior chamber. As you can see from the high IOP, I have a hazy cornea. And in the beginning of the surgery, in order to have a little bit more dilatation, dilatation on this uh, pupil, I uh, use a spatula to break out the posterior synechia. And it's very important in these cases to have a larger than a pupil uh, capsular axis. Will make uh, the surgery a little bit easier. It's a complicated surgery anyway. You have to be very careful um, at the foot pedal. Don't have it pressed for long periods of time since uh, you work in a very small uh, environment. Uh, you have to do phacomusification um, at the Irish plane or if you can uh, it's better to do it inside the, the bag in order to be as far as possible from the cornea. You have already a very hazy cornea, so you gotta use a good viscoelastic and to be as far as possible from this, but. Uh, because you have a, a small uh, place the posterior capsule is very flexible in these cases and uh, you gotta pay attention to just uh, take small bits and pieces of the nucleus uh, and not have a surge in the anterior chamber because that will can uh, aspirate, uh, the faculty can aspirate very easy the posterior capsule in these cases. Uh, as you can see at the 6 o'clock there are um, two large neo vessels and uh, around the pupil margin it's a ring shape uh, made out of uh, neovascularization. At the end of the phacomusification, I uh, usually use a needle to press the, the root of the iris uh, back. So uh, I will break the anterior synechia. In these neovascular cases, it's unavoidable to have... Um, when you do this maneuver, it's... Uh, almost impossible to not break uh, some new vessels there also but that's no big deal you can uh, inject some diluted uh, adrenaline and uh, an air bubble to assist in uh, order to have uh, this um, bleeding control under control thank you for your attention i hope this will help you in your practice also